Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna have a look on the Raycast All and Raycast non allowed versions also. In the previous video, we have done this in which we have created a shooting system. If I press the play button, then you can see that uh, if I press the spacebar button, then it applies the force on the container when the ray hit it, that container, right? So if I press the multiple times, then it gets false. So if you haven't watched that video, then make sure to watch that because this is completely related to the previous video, right? We will gonna look on the recast all and recast non allow how it affects your memory, ultimately the performance of your game. So let's get started. So here we are in the Unity editor and the script that we have written in the previous video was this. To understand the recast all, we will have to uh, put here two containers that uh, the ray emerging from this origin will hit uh, first this container and then that uh, ray will hit the second container uh, behind this one right so i will duplicate this container right okay now what uh, we are going to do is to cast a ray from this origin and the ray will hit uh, this uh, cargo container first and it will draw a sphere at the hit point and then it will hit this cargo container and then draw a sphere at this hit point right and also we will apply the same kind of force okay so now let's go into the visual studio so here we have used the raycast and instead of that we should have to use the raycast right this function returns the array of recast hit that means there if there are multiple uh, hits then it will return multiple hit info right so let's store that recast uh, hit hit uh, infos and this is gonna be our array okay now let's uh, okay and this function also has the a lot of uh, overloads if you look at this by pressing f12 you can see that it has the overloads like uh, recast all origin direction and max distance we are going to use this right so let's do that we have the max uh, distance sorry what was this okay max uh, distance okay so now you can see that uh if this recast all uh gets information of all the colliders that are intersecting with this ray it will allocate an array of recast hit and fills up all the information into that array and returns the reference to this array right so if this hit info is not null well, we can also do that result equals to this and if this hit info is not null that means the result is true that means we have hit something and then we can write as it is okay so here we have to look through each uh, hit info right so for each ray cast hit hit info in hit infos okay so here we have created the local variable now let's uh, delete that this is good enough and to draw the debug this more we should uh, have to reference this recast hit info uh, to globally so let's declare it uh, private recast hit uh, infos and we will delete from here 
ओके ओके नाउ वी शुड हैव टू लुक थ्रू दैट रेकास्ट हिट एंड हिट इनफो इन हिट इनफोज ओके सो वी आर डन now let's uh, jump it to the unity editor wait for reload okay so now let's press the play button now if i press the play button now you can see that we are only hitting the first cargo container right so why it is so because this ray is penetrating through the first cargo uh, container and it is not penetrating through the second cargo container because the max distance is less than the distance of the second cargo from our origin right so how we can resolve this issue we can resolve this issue by selecting our gun and the max modifying the max distance so let's say mm, 30 okay again go into the play mode okay now let's uh, press the space bar button now you can see that both of uh, interacting with the foes right okay now if you look at this when we are pressing the play button the sphere should be uh, drawn at the hit points of both of these uh, cargo containers why it is not drawn so let's look at this Now you can see that we have used the hit point instead of hit info dot uh, hit point. So let's uh, do that hit info dot uh, point, right? And there is no reference for the hit point. Let's jump into the unity editor. Now let's again press the space bar. Okay, so you can see that we are drawing the spheres at the hit points. Both of these. Uh, cargo containers. So this is how the recast all works, and this may be very necessary when you are implementing a penetrating system, like uh, a bullet penetrates through the first object and then hits the second object behind that one, right? So this can be implemented through the recast all. There is something called the recast uh, non-allow. so apart from the recast all and recast we have a different version which is the recast non allog so what is it so have a look at this uh, if you go to the unity documentation you will see that uh, we have um, recast all function and recast non allog function so if you click on this you will see that uh what it does is uh, cast a ray through the scene and stores the hits into a buffer right so so what's the difference is that uh in the recast all uh, it is creating the entire array of the hit infos internally that means uh, when it hits it allocates that right and every time we when we press the space button it creates array of two hit infos each time so this is the extra overhead of creating and destroying which is not uh, desirable because we can reuse that hit info because we know that mm, just only two uh, object can be hitted by the ray so this is where the ray cast non allow can be used when we know the how many maximum uh, objects can be hitted by the ray then we should use the ray cast non allow and we can provide the pre allocated buffer to our ray cast non allow function so this will improve our memory efficiency also and ultimately the performance okay so let's change it now if you look at the parameters that it takes the origin and direction and it takes the buffer which is results right so what we can do is that we we will allocate that means we will pre allocate this hit infos so hit uh, infos equals to new ray cast uh, hit Uh, okay and we know that the maximum number of objects that can be hitted by this ray is just 2 so 
so we will just write here two. Right, so we have allocated the buffer. And now let's change this raycast all to raycast non alloc and then pass the buffer hit enforce and the max distance and what it takes the direction results okay so here it will return the number of uh, objects that we have hitted right and we will save into another variable like uh, number of objects and let's take it from there okay so the result hit infos and we will also change it is not equal to zero that means we have hit it something and we can iterate through the variables okay and here also we have to change something here like uh, integer i equals to zero from okay until okay let's delete that until the number of objects and plus plus i plus plus oh sorry what is uh, i am not doing correct okay sorry we have <laughs> okay now the hit info the recast hit and hit uh, info equals to the hit uh, infos i right and here we can also do that also by changing it into the for loop instead of for each and the number of objects and also recast hit hit info equals to the right sorry hit enforce i and we can also directly write it here also okay and also we don't need actually to check for the result because if the number of objects is zero then this uh, for loop will not uh, iterate right so we can just remove that Okay, now we are done. Enter into the play mode. Okay, now let's again press the spacebar button. Now you can see that it is working fine. So, this was the difference between the recast uh, all and recast non allow. So, this is pretty much for this video, and in the next video, we're gonna learn about the line cast and the sphere cast. And a lot of things right and i will meet you in the next video thanks for watching